Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Falling Stars, episode two for the series. Let's continue seeing what we can do. Try to get these victory points up because we're not doing too well right now. Um, we left off last time at the end of our turn, so we'll actually go ahead and uh, end off here or uh, end our turn there. The uh, let's hope we can actually get a good vote here. Oh, I gotta start using these too. I haven't used these yet or showed you guys what they are, but I'll show you now, which is basically the strategic action and whatnot. Let's go ahead and go with that. So resistance, uh, the Ar Arkisvir requires four ground troops to conquer it for the rest of the game. No one may control Arkisvir this round. That's this middle territory here that the uh, the the rebels there, the rogue units. That, that's the planet that they own, and we're basically voting on what we're gonna do with them. So. They either require four countries. I'm trying to guess what people are going to vote for because I really need to win one of these. No one may control it this round. I'm going to assume that they're going to go for this. Ah, oh, finally. We actually uh, were on the winning side this time for that, so we got plus one victory point there. So moving up a little bit in the victory point world. Always good. Uh, not as fast as they're moving, but we're going we're gonna to change that in a minute. We are going to change that. All right, taking a look here. So we've got some, uh, we've got a that strategic assets. Always, I always forget to use these. I kind of wish there was something. I don't know. I just the, the area that they're in. I always forget to use them. But we could basically. What did that say? Because I just missed it. Because uh, uh, well, that does me no good because I completely missed what it said now, and I don't remember which one we got. There it goes. Select a system with fuel exhausted ships uh, and moving distance of enemies. So if we want to uh, like move and attack somebody, that's a pretty good one. I actually am not going to use it this round, but it would be pretty good. Then we got a couple up here. So play before ground combat. Your efficient gain plus one all combat rules. Uh, play before moving your fleet. Your next two ships will have plus one movement. Uh, that could be useful if I decide to go over here and attack somebody. I've got these two dreadnoughts here. I could actually move and do that. I think I am going to attack this cruiser here because uh, I've got the army to do it. Uh, so let's go ahead and move everybody into there. We've got a little bit of fuel left. So if we actually go ahead and we want to activate this motivation. No, I'm sorry. The hyper thrusters. We should be able to move this guy into there. And we can move both of them into there. That's going to use up the last of our fuel, but uh, totally worth it. Now, before we go ahead, we can't move anybody else. It's not going to let us. Not well, because we're out of fuel, but mainly, even if we had fuel, we can't do it until this combat is over, and then we can proceed with the rest of our turn. Same with building anything. We can't actually, I don't believe we can actually build anything until the combat's, oh, no, it isn't going to let us. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll build some stuff real quick, I think. Oh, okay, OCF has been exhausted. That number that's on the OCF, you can only build a certain amount, and if you exhaust that number, then uh, that's pretty much it. So we've exhausted that number, that's fine. I might use a... Uh, some of the rest of the resources left over to get a tech, but either way, let's go ahead and do this battle. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to click on this. It's just this one ship, so it's going to be a quick battle, uh, and I don't really have to do too much here, but just to kind of show you what I can do, I can activate tactical uh, actions if I have good ones. However, I don't have anything that's going to help me for this battle, so I'm not going to worry about it. You can also kind of uh, shuffle around your ships if you want them in different locations. So you can click on them and drag them, you know, around here and stuff the ships in the front are going to be the first ones to get shot at so if you want you know certain valuable ships to not die i recommend putting them in the back or uh, in farther behind rows because uh ships die actually like battles pretty intense like ships just blow up constantly so we're gonna hit lock coordinates because we're not gonna move anything and we're gonna start the battle and there we go so pretty much one just that one little cruiser it's pretty easy to win so uh, however that's pretty nice because that gives us another victory point as well as actually, we could probably take that system. It's not a great system, but as long as... Ooh, that... See, that rogue planet would always be great to take, but so, sometimes it's really hard to take planets like that. There's some good ones over here, like 333. Three, three, like, that's a good planet. Um, But it's not really anywhere near our system, so it's kind of like... In a difficult place to get to. Um, We could get the plus one to carrier movement... Uh, we could also, I would kind of want to get one of these just to start working on getting these. Uh, because, like, the photon deflectors are actually really good. They basically create a shield that can bounce uh, projectiles back at the enemy. Uh, so I guess we'll go with that. Let's go ahead and end our turn. See what happens. See if we can get another vote on our side. 
rogue here fighting these guys. Who's going to win? Looks like... Ooh. They just won it. Just won it. Actually, small enough now that I could probably take them and uh, get myself a victory point from it. You know, this game here plays out more like a board game. It doesn't really play out so much. It's a 4X game, but it doesn't... I feel like it doesn't play out like a, like as a video game as much as it plays out like a board game. Um, which is kind of how it's got to be designed. Uh, this is actually fighting us. Now, we could retreat. However, you know what? We're just going to see. One-on-one. -on -one. Let's see who wins. Ah, I won. Nice. Another point for free. And I secured that location. Warfare might not be bad. Let's go for the All Dreadnoughts are granted plus one damage. Um, or we could keep recruiting fighters. Let's go for All Dreadnoughts gain plus one damage. So what is this? All ground forces. The Kirsvir are destroyed and the reigning empire is going to bounty of four resources. and remains under control by its current occupator. Let's go for a four because that will not only destroy all of the ground forces, but we'll also get some resources. So I, yeah, I was going to say, I don't see anybody not voting for that. So nice. We don't have the most influence, but we're up there. At least we're not as bad as the Terran are right now. They're in a terrible spot. And they I don't think they've won a single victory point. Maybe like one or two. Now we're at five, so we're catching back up. Which is good. And we've got another battle. Oh, yikes. Yeah, we're going to lose this one. I'm going to attempt to retreat. Okay, we're good. They won the battle, but we saved our ship. That's all that matters. But we're going to go back after him, so it's not going to be too big of a deal. I've got enough here that I think three cruisers should actually be enough. They've got two carriers and two fighters. Feel like we can beat them. Now, I'm not going to be able to get my my uh, bulk fleet there. Uh, but I should be able to get my fleet there. Man, Everybody, I feel like everybody's taking more turns than me. They're all the way up to 10 now. They're double me. It's just because there's been a lot of battles. All right, so now it's our turn. Let's go ahead. Um, will three cruisers be enough to take this? Even with the... Uh... No, I'm going to have to take the risk, right? Uh, this cruiser cannot move. What, what do I got here? Uh, select a system with fuel exhausted ships in moving distance of enemies. I feel like... Oh, I got an idea. Let's see if this works. I don't know if it will, but we're going to try it. Uh, cruisers usually have... Yep, it is going to work. Only for one of them, though. With the carrier there. We're not going to be able to move you there, huh? That's going to be a problem. Oh, I don't really have any good... What about you? Can I select target with enemies? Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. Do I have another one? No. Okay. So we're going to do that there, and then I might as well start more battles, because that's really going to be how we're going to work up on this here, is just these battles. Battles are going to be what, what uh, wins us. Oh, do I have enough fuel? That's the question. All right, let's do out this battle first. I don't know if I'm going to win this. I honestly can't say I am. The rogues are usually fairly difficult to fight. Just for fun of it, let's do it like this. Put the carrier in the middle. We got the cruisers on the side. Let's lock coordinates and see how we do. Oh, nice. Not bad. There we go. We actually crushed them. So another victory point going to us. The Gusdun. Gusdun. Sudun. Gusun. I don't know what we are. Uh, the Gadoon, we're going to say. We're going we're gonna to go with the Gadoon so I can stick with something permanently. I don't think I have enough fuel to move all of these here. I know I could get the cruiser and the two, uh, and the carrier there, the two cruisers and the carrier there, but I maybe one dreadnought. There's two carriers here. If they've got fighters in them, I'm going to be in trouble. I could destroy this one cruiser. That would at least prevent resource, uh, reinforcements from making their way over here, but I do need to destroy something else if I'm going to keep... That's why, I mean, it plays like a board game because like like a game like Risk or something, you really got to think about what you're doing because you're you're probably not going to get a whole lot of ships and a whole lot of resources as time moves on. And so you just really got to think about, you know, what is good for me. I think I'll use my resources then to get another. Plus two to cruiser attack damage sounds awesome. 
It would cost me two fuel. Okay, how about this? We can actually do move units, and then we can see. So I can move the carrier. Can I get one dreadnought there? I could get one dreadnought, two cruisers, and one carrier. I feel like that will actually do it, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, crap. See, that's one thing that I don't like. The fighters, they don't go inside the carriers. I hate that. God, I hate that. The fighters, if you don't put the fighters back in, the, when they come out of the carriers after a battle, if you don't put them back in the carrier, they won't follow you, and it sucks. There is a way for fighters to travel to systems by themselves. It's a tech, and it's called fighter movement. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about it now. But that really sucks, so we're not going to have the fighters for this battle like I wanted to. Um, I wish that they automatically went back in there. And that there was a way to see what was in there, but... Because the four fighters would have made been the difference between winning or losing this, but now I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, they destroyed one of our ships, but... Our cruisers are pretty powerful now with that tech upgrade, so... There we go. Ooh, I still think these guys are going to win. We are pulling ahead now. We're in third place. If I can at least get a second, I'll feel pretty good. Oh, I'll feel a lot better. What should we go for next on tech? That's something to think about. Dreadnoughts require one less fuel to move. That's kind of a big deal. Um, we also got enhanced carrier payload. But minus one of the capacity. We don't really want that. Dreadnoughts have 20% chance to destroy any ship in one hit. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. That would be a pretty useful tech, I'd say. Let's go ahead and end our turn. So that... that uh. The OCF there is actually kind of inhibiting us from being able to build a lot of ships because we're only getting one on that per turn. So we're actually going to go for the uh, the double the OCF. And then we can even do place one fighter in the system with OCF. Okay, no planets can be bartered with this round. No planets can be conquered this round. I'm going to say no planets can be bartered with. Yep, and we were right, and so wasn't everybody else. Hoping these guys were going to get it wrong, but what can you do? One victory point for everyone. Even the Terran win for once. Good for them. Oh boy. These guys are close to 20. They're going to get there. Soon. Especially if they destroy a bunch of stuff this round. Really fighting me, huh? You have a lot more cruisers and a carrier. I've got a carrier. And less cruisers. I could retreat, but I'm going to stand my ground. I feel like my cruisers are much more powerful, and they were. They were more powerful because of that tech upgrade. Fantastic. Still, though, it took a pretty big hit there. It takes a while. That's the, the bummer is that it does take a while to build up when you've taken a, a significant blow. All right, we're going to definitely stay here and fight this battle. Yeah. Battles are nice and quick, which I, I actually like. He's got two Dreadnoughts and four fighters here. I feel like if we keep pushing in their territory, we can cause enough damage that we can maybe pull ahead for a victory. I'd love to get a victory. I got a victory the whole of the last two times I played, and now I, of course, I start recording and it looks like I'm going to lose. Like, typical. It's pretty much story of my life. Able to pull victories out all day long until, I'm, <laughs> until the camera's rolling, and then, I'm, then I suck at everything I do. I think we're going to be alright. We may not get a victory, but we're going to get damn close to it. I tell you that right now. All these battles going on. Pretty nice seeing all these guys just destroy each other. I like kind of that it's like a constant battle too. It's interesting. It fits with what's going on. Instead of feeling like you have to wage war on people and diplomacy and you're getting ganged up on by people. We definitely aren't spread out as much as the other people are. That's for sure. It's just basically we don't have as many ships and as many systems, uh, which isn't a problem. However, I am going to want another station because it looks like everybody, they're on their fourth. They're on their third, and I only got two. Actually, I never even built one here, I just realized. Let's get one built now. I went to go do that last time. I forgot. Okay, so we can double our capacity. Let's go ahead and double that. It's like planet containing OCF so to spawn one fighter uh, on it. Mm, they don't have any carriers really too close nearby, so we'll just go for here. Our home system and keep us nice and safe. Two cruisers here. I would like to go destroy those. I don't have any... I, I think my three cruisers would be enough technically to do that. Uh, but really what I should do is move over here. I do have a cruiser there as well, actually. So yeah, let's do that. Because we can move this cruiser into that system too. I think that should be more than enough to fight them and beat them. Resources and fuel are looking pretty good. I can actually probably... Can I destroy these guys' planet? Or because I don't have a... I don't have ground troops, so I don't think I can. I don't know how I attack the actual... OCF. I probably need ground troops. Um, we 
could... I think I lost that carrier that had those three ground troops on it. So what I should do actually is build a carrier and then build myself uh, at least a ground troop. Start getting kind of built up. And I could pick this ground troop up as well. So why don't we move him into the carrier and then we'll move the carrier up here next turn. Do we got anything good here? No, it keeps just kind of piling up with stuff I don't really need. Which is unfortunate. We got a cruiser here I can actually move over here. Oh, one of these systems is in peril. Let's go here. Oh, I can only move you into the battle system. Actually, you can reach there, so have at it. Okay, I can't move anybody else till we do this battle, so let's go ahead and do it. And we're definitely going to win, so we're going to lock coordinates. Nice. Lost one, but destroyed two. That still gives us a victory point. 11 to 15. Boy, I'm actually kind of sweating a little bit here. Got to really think out the next couple moves to kind of pull myself ahead. If I don't get the next, uh, if I don't win the next vote, I'm not going to win the game, I don't think. But damn, if I could, if I can get second, I'll be happy with the second. Hmm, cruiser, carrier, dreadnought. I'm wondering if I move all of these guys into here. I really need to take the carrier back. Let's take the carrier back. So I got to put these fighters in it. Now, I can't move the carrier again. That's the only crappy part. I really want to go over here and destroy this cruiser. Um, I could leave the carrier there, but it wouldn't be enough to defend itself, I don't think. I'm only saying that because if I move the cruiser and the dreadnought into here, I could destroy this cruiser. But if they throw a bunch of stuff at me, I could be in trouble because they got a bunch of fighters and stuff here. Um, that probably can't get to me in two turns or in one turn, but... At the same time, like I want to attack them because I really want to get another victory point. I want to get up to 12. Because I need to get more victory points than these guys are getting a turn. You know, if they pull out three victory points next turn, then we're only looking at one more turn before the game's already over. Uh, which is nice, though. Nice short game, so I like that. It really makes you think out all your moves. Hmm. I have a little bit of resources left over. What are technologies looking like? I can't really get anything, right? Just plus one to carry your movement. Uh, I got a carrier here that I wanted to capture another planet with, but is he even going to get there in time? What planet do I want to capture too? Actually, I want to take him here and capture this one from him. Plus one to carrier movement will allow me to do it in one turn. Uh, so yeah, let's actually go for that. You know, it's getting close to the end of the game with these guys uh, sitting at 15 victory points. So why don't we... Go ahead and move into this system and fight this cruiser. I think I've got the fuel to do it too. I'll have to leave the carrier there though. Oh, that'll cost me six fuel right off the bat. Let's do it like this then. I've got two fuel. I should be able to move one of these, right? No. The carrier's not going to be able to move unless I had a strategy and I don't. One dreadnought, one cruiser against one cruiser. I'll definitely win, but will I win the counter attack if they come after me? That is the question. Let's lock coordinates. I can always retreat if they come with a counterattack. I didn't lose the cruiser, so that is good. At least there won't be just a dreadnought sitting here. That puts me up to 12. And all right. So that's where we're going to leave it. We are at the end of this episode. Running these ones a little short. Uh, just because they, it is going to be a shorter uh, series. But yeah, we're catching up. 12 to 15, we really pulled ahead. I think we were 0 and 5 like within the first <laughs> first like two turns of the game. So we really pulled ahead there. Uh, but it's it's very possible that these guys attack everybody next turn and, and pull five victory points uh, just out of thin air. It's very possible for them to do that, especially if they win the next voting round. So we're going to hope that the game at least lasts two more turns so that I can uh, hopefully catch up. But that'll mean I'll have to acquire uh, four victory points a turn. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that unless I just brutally attack everybody around me i don't see why i can't do that though i might just blatantly run out of people to attack well we're gonna try to see what we can do however thank you for joining me i do hope you guys enjoy this episode and i look forward to seeing you next time